Hi everybody, my name is Etona. Let's get started. Before uh, we start anything, uh, I want to say uh, that uh, I have a, we have a very special program whereby we give back to the community, like feeding program is not only feeding because feeding uh, someone uh, is not necessarily that it's going to change somebody's life because today might eat tomorrow then it's going to come back again, you know, it's changing anybody's life. So what I decided is to give back the knowledge, skill sets, like computer skills, choose me solve. I have a film uh, team that you know we go around different community and see kids or people and adults who have a talents like singing talents uh, or acting, filming talents and uh, developers talents. So those people can change uh, the life of their household, the loved one for themselves, the wife, kids, mother or sisters, so they can sustain themselves and the loved one or people around them in the community. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay. So we have a question right here. They say a tax shop uh, at the station has a fixed cost of 900 per week. They sell uh, pies at a fixed price of 23 each week. While the production cost pie of the pie, production cost per pie is 15. We assume all the pies are produced will be sold. What is the profit if 200 pies are sold? Now let's get to the bills, okay? So first and foremost, uh, I want to break down for you something very, very crucial. All you need to know face is total cost equal to fixed cost plus variable cost. You have to memorize that. You have to know that. Why? Let me give you an example. Let's say you buy your electricity or you have your budget for the rent or for the bills. Like you know for a fix, let's say your bills every month, month end, you have to pay 1000 Let's say for the rent, 1000 but see if you have to uh, uh no let's not say rent let's say electricity if you plug and use all the plants like using your tv plugging your computer and uh using uh, your stove and everything a month for electricity your consumption is one thousand it costs one thousand okay units let's say for electricity i just changed the example let's say units of electricity but you decided now you're gonna uh you're gonna buy more plants see or you uh, you you're gonna add more plants for your house let's say you decided to buy uh uh new devices elect electrical devices means uh they eat in each device let's say you decided to buy three devices uh, each devices each one is gonna cost 10 units so the first device is gonna be uh 10 units Times the face device. The second is going to be 10 unit time. So this price here is going to vary depend on how many units or whatever extra you have. That's what we say in any situation. The total cost of anything equal to the fixed cost. Like for now, we say, okay, the cost of me uh, pay for electricity for all the devices I have is 1000 But now maybe there's a new family member come or friends or new more tenant come to my house means the price is going to vary we're going to increase a certain amount that's why we say total cost equal to the fixed cost plus variable cost now let's get to the business because that was not part of the question let's get to the business quick let me get it done with this okay so now they say here so they say tax shop at the session has a fixed cost oh so this is a cost of the tax shop per week so we're going to say total cost equal to fixed cost equal to 900 fixed cost now what about the variable cost the variable cost we don't know so we don't know what the variable cost is how are we gonna get the variable cost that's a trick see but look, look here for here they say uh, they sell pies at a fixed price oh so we don't have a variable cost they talk about price now leave the price for now leave the price now they say the production cost is this one oh so we have a cost of production per pie per pie is 15 oh so the variable cost is going to be 15 times q you know why let me explain to you about the variable cost the variable cost of anything you take a unit multiply by the quantity for example if each one costs let's say i'm just saying each one costs 15 they say each pie costs 15 but we don't know because they say for each we don't know how many quantity mean how many of them for each one is 15 but we don't know how many of them let's so say 15 times quantity 
If it's one unit, you're going to say 15 times 1. If it's 2, 15 times 2. Or 15 times 3, 53. That's to say 15 times 2. So this is how we get the variable cost. So for now, the variable cost is going to be 15 times Q. Because they say here, while the production cost is 15 Q. Why did I include 23? Because 23 is not cost, it's the price. So we leave it for so long. We're going to come back for that. You understand what I'm saying? So we got a variable cost equals 15 Q. Now, the question is, okay, well, well, that's not part of the question. Now, let's continue now. So now we say, there's something I want to explain to here about revenue. Total revenue. Total revenue, always equal to, oh, oh no, no, profit, sorry. Let me say profit, profit. If you want to get profit of anything, take your total revenue minus total cost. Profit of anything, you take a total revenue minus total cost. So what is the revenue meaning? The revenue, you take your price, you see this price here? Because you take your price, if you want to get it, okay, let me write here. Total revenue, take your price times quantity. Price of each times quantity. Now we go, we say, okay, well, so total revenue equal to, what is the price? They say the price is 23 for each. So 23, but we don't know the quantity, how many of them, that's what say, 23 times Q. So that's a total revenue. So now to get the profit, what am I doing for the profit? Because they mentioned something with the profit table in the equation. So now to get the profit, it's going to take me total revenue, which we have to the three Q minus total cost. Total cost we have this one here. So now I'm going to replace all this stuff here. We're going to say profit equal to re total revenue is to the three Q minus total cost. What is the total cost? Our total cost is this one. We had it already. So bracket 900 plus 15 Q. So let me raise this one. So profit equal 23Q, I can open this, Na negative times 900 is going to be negative 900, negative times that one is going to be negative 15Q. Now, 23Q minus 15Q, 23Q minus 15Q, that's going to give us 8Q. So profit equal to 8Q minus 900. So this is a profit function. Why did I find the profit function? Because here yeah, they want us to find the profit when number of pies are 200. So instead of this quantity, I'm going to put 200 in there, in the quantity, to get the profit. So I'm going to say my profit equal to 8 times quantity equal to 200 minus 900. And this is going to be 1,600 because this one you multiply is 1,600 minus this 900. And this is going to be equal to 700. So for that case now, this is going to be the answer right here. That's the answer for that question. And for that being said, look, like I said, if you face time, make sure you follow me on uh, on Instagram, the same name, and then you can see what we do for the community as far as giving back and inspire people. You can see all the projects or community projects that I would give back and inspire people, like I say. It's for giving people skills, feeding and giving skills. So we teach them how to fish, not how to get the fish. See? So you follow me on those uh, platform, platform like Instagram, the same name, Mtwana underscore Bantu. Okay? Also, you can follow me on TikTok. You can see how I do my dance. I got my dance too. I don't do the teaching right there. Right there, I just do my dance. Hey, hey, uh. Oh, oh, whoa. So why right they if you want to see how I dance, you go right there on a TikTok. Yeah, they're on the TikToks, my beautiful fans. On the TikToks. And another thing, uh what else? Um share this video. Uh follow me on TikToks on Facebook. Also go to Mtwana Wabantu Academy TikTok. And if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to this platform, subscribe to this YouTube, share to your friends, do not keep to yourself because that's what called selfish. For that be said, we're trying our band to academy, man. The biggest academy on the planet, one and only. Easy, man. Bye, I see you.